One of the questions we get asked regularly is, how do you pay inland revenue? When we send payment letters for provisional and terminal tax, page two includes details on the payment information you need to include when making that payment. Um, the most important number that you need to include is the period end date, otherwise IRD won't know where to put it. It's also important when paying IRD that you use the correct IRD number, so you don't want to be paying tax to your personal IRD number when it's meant for your company, or vice versa. Um, so today we're just going to show you how you can pay through internet banking and your mobile banking app. Um, we're using ASB as an example, but most banking systems will be quite similar in that you can make an IRD payment or pay tax. So if we just click on that, and we want to select the tax type. As you can see, there's quite a few options to choose from. The most common ones that you'll be paying are employer deductions, which is PAYE, goods and service tax, GST, or income tax. So if we just choose that tax type and click next, you just need to enter your IRD number and the tax period ended. So as I said earlier, any of our payment letters that go out will have the tax period that you're paying. All you need to do is enter the amount and if there's information that you'd like showing on your statement just type that in and click next and your payment will go to IRD. Moving to the banking mobile app, you've got the same options. You just need to click that you're choosing pay in land revenue or paying tax. You've got your same list of tax types to choose. You just need to enter your IRD number, your tax period end date, the amount and then next. And it's as easy as that.